Hey everybody, what's up? It's Saturday. Hard to believe, but I have the place to myself. This, this originally, folks, this originally was what I was hoping for um, the other day. I mean, last week. I was thinking, and I guess I shouldn't probably thought this, but I was thinking I was going to um, be back around this time frame, if not an hour or so later. But that's okay, you know. But getting to the topic, right there, it says, why do we collect DVDs, Blu-rays, and VHSs? You know, and, and that's a question I'm pretty sure has really not plagued people, but people have been asking themselves since the beginning. Why do we end up buying so many DVDs, if you will? Why do we do it? You must ask yourself that question. Why do we do it? Why do we buy so many DVDs? Or in some cases, why do we buy so many DVD recordable discs? Either the minus R's, plus R's, whatever. Why do we buy so many to record stuff on? Either it's a movie or a variety of stuff. Why do we do it along with, like I said, you know, having all this? Hold on for a second, I gotta check something. I don't know if that was my brother in law or not. My brother-in-law is supposed to be dropping off my nephews from Modesto, but I don't know when that's going to be. But anyway, like I was saying, wh why do we collect so many DVDs? Why do we DVD fab them if we can, which is like make copies of them? Wh wh why do we buy so many? Why do we make covers for them if we record them, or like I say, DVD fab them? And it's not just DVDs. Why is it the same with, with Blu-rays, if we can do that, or, or VHSs, in the, like in the past, VHSs, or even, sometimes even video games? I mean, why do we do it? Why do we buy and rent and, like I mentioned, record, DVD fab copy? Why do we do it so much? And yet, You know, we only watch them on rare occasions. Why? Well, I'll tell you why. It's called collecting. I'm pretty sure that was the obvious answer, but still, it's basically collecting. What you're doing is you're collecting movies that are either released for the first time or been re-released. East, East, again, on all sorts of the media that I mentioned. And the reason being is this. Sometimes these movies will only have a one-time release. It's kind of like a new fab, if you will. When VHS came around, the fab was to own VHS. Was to own movies on VHS. That way you can watch them anytime you want. And when Laserdisc came around, the fab was, hey, let's buy Laserdisc. And then when CDIs came around for a temporary de period, the fab was, let's get CDIs. Well, not CDIs, it's CEDs, I should say. CEDs. Let's get the CEDs. And now the same goes for DVDs, because they're the new fab. Blu-rays as well, and now even digital copies. The thing is, it's always about getting the new fab out there. Always having something, that's been, always collecting something, buying and collecting something that's become part of the new fab. New fad, I should say, not fab. Fad. <laughs> that's my bad. 
But again, that's what it is. And sometimes there are certain DVDs, like I said, there are DVDs and Blu-rays that are one-time releases. Like say wrestling here. You know the only way you're going to get this, stuff like that, is one time only. So that is why people do it. Another reason people like to collect DVDs, VHSs, and in Blu-ray sometimes is because sometimes even with VHSs and maybe even Laserdisc back in the day in CEDs, you get bonus footage at the end of the movie. You do. I remember when Men in Black came out on VHS, at the end of the movie was the Men in Black music video. Same with Wild Wild West. Nowadays you don't have to worry about we fast forwarding through the movie just to see the video. Now all you have to do is just look it up on through a bonus feature or chapter on DVD or Blu-ray. So you have to do. But you see again it goes back to the fact of why? Why do we still spend it if we're only going to maybe watch it a few times? Because that way let's because well because one it's not just about collecting it's about well, let's just put it this. I think Zarin Isarak said it best in his return vid. What happens if your cable or your dish network company takes goes out temporarily? Even if you've paid the bill. Let's say it goes out for a few hours. What are you going to do? It's simple. You turn to the entertainment you have available to you, and that is your collection, your home video collection. And whether, and whether you still have a VHS and prefer it that way, which I seriously doubt, or if you have DVD or even Blu-ray, the fact is, this is your backup source of entertainment in case something happens. And especially, let's say you go on the road. Nowadays, we know all the vehicles out there come equipped with either built-in DVD or Blu-ray players to keep the kids entertained or let's say you're stopping, to, stopping somewhere in a parking lot, let's say at a Sonics and you're eating and you want to be entertained there you go, just pop in a movie, boom, done. And then you got stuff like this like a DVD portable, a portable DVD player which you could take on the road to keep your kids entertained. You see, there's always a purpose as to why the collecting happens. And there's also a purpose as to why we collect and buy recordable discs. So that, let's say we fab, copy, or record, we can take whatever we record, copy, or fab with us on the road as well. You see, there's always a reasoning, and the reasoning, like I said, for the collecting is two things. One, a backup in case something happens to your cable or your dish network. And two, on the road. Whether your vehicle has a built-in DVD Blu-ray player or it has a DVD or you have a portable DVD or Blu-ray player to take with you, it keeps you and it keeps your kids, in some cases, entertained. So that is why we still that is why we collect so many also it's usually also one other thing it's a challenge it's a challenge let, let, let me show you here now you take away the Yu-Gi-Oh stuff here and you look primarily at the Disney stuff I want you to kind of get an idea here look at Snow White and look at the order up till about Tang stop right at a goofy movie okay Stop right at Goofy Movie, and I want you to look at everything else. What do you see? The main Disney classics. I also have some, as you've probably seen in my updated DVD collection video number two. I also have some in jewel cases, as well as I have some in variety disc. It's true, I do. I just have not yet individualized one of those nor have I had the opportunity
nor have I had the opportunity to have enough uh, DVD cases to um, basically, you know, make covers for for the DVDs, like The Great Mouse Detective, Alice in Wonderland, and Rescuers Down Under, and so forth. So it still takes time. But again, in time, it will occur. In time. But that's one of the other things as well with DVD, is the challenge of trying to collect the entire series, series of stuff. Like the feature animated films here, that's part of a huge series. That's part of 50 plus movies. And there's still a lot more to go. Some you have to find through DVD, and some you just gotta probably, as much as some people are hoping it takes a long time for this to happen, torrent and download through the computer. You know, basically be, what I mean by happen is the prevention stuff. It take a long time before that occurs. But, you know, you get the idea. And it's not just with, you know, Disney or anything either. It's with television. It's with a fr it's like with television. Take a look here. Here is the original Rhino release of Transformers. It would take, it took me years just to collect all of them. Now, take a look at Rescue Rangers here. Everybody's still waiting for the first, the third vol volume. But at least, I have the first two. Now, here's the thing. I still got to get second volume here. Still waiting on that second volume for that. Get what I'm saying? I got to get the other volume of Dinosaurs, but that'll take time, too. And you take a look, and then you take a look at movie franchises. Got all three of these, but it took years. But it's a challenge. Because let's say you don't really want to buy it, and in my case, you want to fab it. There you go, but still, it's always good to buy it. It's a good challenge. Like, for example, you see over here? Right there, where I'm trying to point at it. Right here with the turtles. I still got to get all the other volumes. I got that as well as season 8 I st and season 1, but I still got to get the other volumes. And that's going to be a challenge. That's another thing about DVD collecting. Again, is you want to complete collections that are released through DVDs, Blu-rays, and even at the time VHS and Laserdisc. I mean, let's take a look at Gem here. This is the complete series of Gem released by Shout. If I would have done it individually, I would have had to wait, waited at least a couple of months, if not a year or so, just to collect the whole thing. But I did See, again, it's about challenge. That's the third reason. Three reasons. Again, one, in backup in case your cable or dish networks, network blanks out for a while, even if you've paid the bill. Even if you've been on time with your bills or payments on them. Two, keep yourself entertained or your kids entertained with the by using your either your built-in DVD Blu-ray player in your vehicle or your portable one that you bring with you. And three, to account to achieve a challenge, a goal to achieve that to complete a challenge and achieve a goal of collecting the entire series series of either movies or television series or f movie franchises in your collection. That's the challenge. I mean, take a look at here. Look at, again, one last example when it comes to that completing the challenge, achieving the goal. Look at here. Let's see, where is it? Iron Man. Hulk, Credible Hulk. Iron Man 2. Thor, Captain America. What does that tell you? What is that leading up to that will be released in two months? Avengers. I mean, I even put in a two disc set, a ten disc set out, a ten disc collector set out on DVD and Blu ray for this. What does that tell you? Basically, that's the challenge there. You want to get all the movies that lead up to the Avengers. So, again, that's three things. 
Back up in case your cable or dish goes out. Keep yourself or your kids entertained on the road with either, by putting them either in your built-in player or portable player that you built-in player in your vehicle or your portable player you bring with you. And three, to complete the challenge and achieve the goal of collecting every movie in the series of movies, like in the case of Walt Disney Animated Classic Series or Animated Feature Series, as well as when it comes to or movie, as, as well as collecting all the movies in a franchise or collecting all the movies in a television or collecting all the DVDs of all the seasons of a television series. That is why we collect DVDs. That is why we collect Blu-rays. That is why we collect VHSs back in when we did and even Laserdisc and CEDs. To keep ourselves entertained in case something happens at home or nowadays with portable DVDs and Blu-rays keep ourselves entertained on the road as well as just like with VHS, Laserdisc and even CEDs complete the challenge and achieve the goal of collecting the entire series of movies or shows or seasons or you know that are associated with such so that is why in my opinion why we collect continuously collect DVDs and Blu-rays why we go out and spend the money to buy them why we go and spend the money to buy DVD recordables to record the movie off a premium channel like say Stars or Encore to either DVD fab copy them if we can and want to that is why we do it in my personal opinion so if you got any comments let me know down below video response if you like Zara Nizarak if you want to go ahead and respond I would appreciate it and I'll talk to you all later